Hey, you guys. Hope and pray all is well. This is a remedy or a soap replacement um, for those who are suffering from eczema. And I got uh, part of this recipe from Roots45. I'm going to put a link to her video, to her channel, underneath this video. But uh, what I did is what she shared is to grind your oatmeal. This is my oats I have here in a mason jar. And then you take it and put it in a coffee grinder, which I have one just for this purpose or for things of this nature. Um, and then here is my grind up oat flour. You can also cook with this um, as well. I knew I was going to forget something. And what I put in my mix um, that works for us, for Ezriana, oops, is a uh, is this is chickweed oil i'm gonna have to make some more which i already put in here and this is the oak flour in a mason jar here and yeah i put my oil in here the chickweed oil that i um i let it what you call infused i didn't cook it or anything i didn't put it in hot oil or anything i just infused it for six weeks and the oil changed colors and this is olive oil and then here I have condula oil and I also put this in here I don't measure okay <laughs> I just do it my eye my feel so I would say that's about a quarter of a cup maybe yeah, that's probably about a quarter of a cup uh, the condula oil. And these oils, the chickweed oil is good for itchy, itchy skin, um, things of that nature. And the condula oil is very good with helping to um, bring the skin back healthy and uh, shiny and all of those different things. And I just thought about jojoba oil just came to me to probably use the next time. And I would just... If you're not sure if, if you're making this for a child, because I wasn't sure if my baby was uh, sensitive to this oats. So what I did, I just made a little amount. And then I um, put a little bit on her skin, probably like here, because this is a sensitive part of our skin. So I put it a little here and just see, I let it soften for maybe an hour, somewhere in there. Um, and to see did her skin react and she didn't react to it so no redness or anything of that nature so I just mix this up I usually you know what I probably need to put more oats in here because I did put a lot of oil I didn't want to really fill this up and what I do I keep this in the refrigerator my hands are clean okay you want everything to be clean and I'm going to, this is my first time putting the oats, I'm going to be putting the oat flour in the refrigerator since it's already ground up. I don't want it to lose any properties or anything. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm going, and the reason why I'm doing this, because I promised you guys, I was going to show y'all how I'm going to be using my herbs, or herbs. So I keep this in the refrigerator. I believe this will last us about a week or so. And this is have the skin soft and just, just bring life to the skin. You can put vitamin E oil in here, whatever oils that you like or herbs that that you know you want to use for your skin 
But these oils here works for us. And this is what we use. And this is the consistency of it. So you just wet the child's skin and then you would just rub this on. You know, they have different other things that you can use for children that you can buy in the store. But this is more cost effective and it's all natural and you made it yourself. Okay, this is just another way to add a little more water because you know how oatmeal gets thick. Just a little bit more water. And that's it. I'm going to cap this up and put it in the destinated area in the refrigerator. See, now that's better. So, of course, it's going to get a little thick, but you just scoop it out and rub it on the child's skin. It feels good. Just rub it. And then you wash it off. See, you rub it in there. And, and she loves, she loves to take baths. She didn't used to. It, it used to burn. Because she had the open wounds and stuff. I'm going to show y'all the shine on my hand. I didn't put nothing on it. You see that? So even though we still, you know, they put the uh, oils on. So we're going to cap this up and put it in the refrigerator. Okay. That is a simple way to make a bath because you don't want to use soap on the skin. Soap is drying. Um, unless you're making it yourself, um, I wouldn't use any soap at all. So anyway, this is the finished product. It is going to go in the refrigerator. I got to put a label on this to say this is oak flour. And I'm going to put this in the refrigerator as well. These are labeled already. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Recap. Get you some oats. I, I buy organic oats because it's for the baby. And grind it up in the coffee grinder. My top is over there. And I like this one because you can take this off. It's, I think it might be a little smaller than my other one. But I like this because you can take this off and clean it. And this is the brand. The Hampton, it's got flour all over it. The Hampton Beach. And then you grind it. After you grind it, this is how it looks. You can also use this as, as a powder to put on this baby skin or the person's skin. And then your oils of choice. And you mix it with distilled water. I, I always mix my things with distilled water. I don't use tap water because it's full of a lot of stuff. Um, but anyway, that's it. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I hope this helped. And um, go check out Miss Roots' channel. You guys will find she is very helpful in so many health ways, uh, ways of, of making things and saving you money. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching Thousand Roses. Be blessed.